In this video, we will be looking at implicit differentiation and how the CX CAS can be used to efficiently and effectively deal with all sorts of problems regarding implicit differentiation. So to start with, our first example says this. For the relation y squared equals 4 minus sine squared of x, which is the relation depicted on the graph below, find the value of dy dx. Okay, so the implicit differentiation has a function on the calculator, and to get that, we're going to go to menu, for, for calculus, and then you don't see it on any on, on the options of here. So the best way to do that is to press up and go E, which is implicit differentiation. Alternatively, we can simply press menu for an E. Now that we're on implicit differentiation, press enter and we have imp diff. So the syntax for imp diff is relation, comma, independent variable, comma, dependent variable, which in most cases will be relation, comma, x, comma, y. So let's type in our relation for the first example. y squared is equal to four minus, now we can't really write sine squared, so the way we're going to do that is to write sine x all squared. Open a bracket, trig, sine, x, close the bracket twice, squared, and now let's type in our parameters, which is comma, x, comma, y. Enter, there we go. So the value of dy dx for that particular relation is simply negative sine x times cos x over y. Now, moving on to our second example, here we go. We have a curve in the Cartesian plane which has the relation 4x squared plus 3xy minus 2y squared is equal to 5. Part A says, verify that the curve passes through the point with coordinates 1, 1. Okay. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to type in the relation as we see it, which is 4x squared plus 3 times x times y. It's very important that you place a multiply sign between the x and the y in particular, because otherwise the calculator will assume that x, y would be a single variable, which is of course not the case. Now continue on, we have minus, 2y squared is equal to 5. To substitute in a point, we're going to use the given command. So control equals, press left for given, press enter, and now we'll sub in x equals 1 and y equals 1. So x equals 1. Now press the space first, the final key on the keyboard, then type in and a, n, d, space bar again, y equals one, which is the coordinate given to us, press enter and it says true. There we go. So we now have the, uh, we, we have verified that the given relation does pass through the point one comma one. Moving on to part B, find the value of dy dx at the point one comma one. So we're going to implicit differentiate yet again. Menu four and E gives us implicit differentiation. And let's, we can now copy and paste the previous line. Press up a couple of times, press enter, and simply delete the un unnecessary parts. There we go, it's all deleted, comma, x, comma, y. Press enter, and here we go, this is the value of dy dx, and now we're going to simply sub in the point x equals one, y equals one. Press up to highlight the previous answer, press enter, and control equals, press left, which is given, x equals one, spacebar, a, n, d, and y equals one, press enter. So the value of dy dx at the point one comma one on the relation is 11. Moving on to the final part of the question, we have to find the value of d2y dx squared, that is the second derivative of y with respect to x at the point one comma one. So to do this, we're going to use implicit differ differentiation again, However, we are going to now add another parameter to our command. This particular type of question has been appearing as of late in recent VCAA exams, and hence it's a good idea to, to really skill up on this and know how to use the CAS effectively. So to do that, we're going to press um, menu, and then four for calculus, E for implicit differentiation. 
We're going to repeat what we did previously. I'm just going to copy the previous entry, remove what we don't need, and then comma X, comma Y. Now, to get the second derivative, we simply have to press comma 2. So comma 2 refers to the order of the derivative that we want. Now press Enter, and here we go. This is the second derivative. Of course, it's a slightly bigger expression. However, the calculator can handle it with ease. So copy and pasting it as before, and now we're going to sub in x equals 1, y equals 1. So control equals left for the given line, enter, x equals 1, space bar, a and d, space bar, y equals 1, enter, and there we go. So the value of the second derivative at the, at the given point is now negative 410. Okay. So moving on to the final example, our job is to find the equation of the tangent to the curve given by 3xy squared plus 4y is equal to negative x at the point where x equals 1. Okay, the first thing that you might notice with this question is that you are given only an x coordinate. You're not given a y coordinate. As we saw in previous examples, dy dx for implicit differentiation typically involves both x and y. So we need to first find the y value at this particular point and then find implicit differentiation. So going to our calculator, this is what we're going to do. We're going to simply type in the equation as it is, 3x, again, careful with the times, times y squared plus 4y is equal to negative x. And now we're going to substitute in x equals 1. Control equal left for given x equals 1. Press enter and there we go. We now have a quadratic equation in y. So let's solve that for y. So we get menu 3 1 solve press up to highlight the previous answer enter comma y enter and we get y equals negative 1 or y equals negative 1 third. Now looking back at the, at the equation, there are certainly two points at which, there, at, at which x equals 1. So we're going to individually find those gradients. So going to x equals 1 and y equals negative 1, let's find the implicit differentiation. So menu 4e for imp diff, and let's copy the relation from previous line, enter backspace the unnecessary parts, comma x, comma y. So the value of, the, of dy dx for that relation is shown here. So now let's plug in the first point, press up to highlight it, enter to fix it up, and now control equals left, enter. So the x value given to us was x equals 1, and our first y value, a and d space, our first y value was y equals negative 1. Press enter and we get, we get 2 as our, as our gradient. So now let's find the equation of the tangent using all this information. Just a reminder, the equation of a line with gradient m that passes through the point x0 and y0 is y minus y0 equals m bracket x minus x0. Now, applying that same technique, we're going to do menu 3, 1 for solve, y minus, our y value is negative 1 from before, equals gradient, which is 2, bracket x minus the x value we had, which is 1, close bracket, comma, we have to solve for y, enter. So the equation is y equals 2x minus 3. If you look at the, at the red line over here, you can see that y equals 2x minus 3 is the equation of the line we have just found. So moving back to the other coordinate, we're simply going to press up a few times until we get to this line. Press enter, and the other y value, just pressing up to go back through the history, the other y value was y equals negative one third. So putting that into our calculator, we simply have to put divide by 3 after y equals negative 1. Press enter and we get a gradient of negative two-thirds. 
So again, repeating what we did last time, menu, 3, 1 to solve, y minus the stated y value, which is negative 1 third, is equal to the given gradient, which I'm going to copy and paste. Up, enter, there we go, there's a gradient, press bracket to open a bracket, x minus 1, close the bracket, and solve for y. There we go, that is the equation of the second tangent to the relation at the given point. Thanks for watching.